They say nobody walks in the City of Angels, but she had legs that went all the way down to the sidewalk and up the stairs to my office. She rolled inside like the morning fog, moist and mysterious, and a little bit chilly. The one look in her eyes, and I knew things would be heating up fast. I said, what do I call you? And she answered, Cherry Pops? Something told me it wasn't her real name. Then she started blubbering about some cool cat named Vincent who'd split the scene, leaving Cherry with a broken heart and the kind of deep aching void only a good private can fill. And the closer I got to my client Cherry, the deeper the mystery got. See, Cherry danced at a mobbed-up Sunset Strip joint called the Smoking Barrel. And her boss, Tony, was the one and only son of Don Luciano. Capo de Tutti... Tutti de Capi de... Tutti Frutti Capo de... What, he, he was the West Coast Cosa Nostra boss. And he was freaking bad. I'm um, sorry, where was I? Oh, right. Anyway, turned out Cherry's massive pendulous skills had come to the attention of Kim Bong and Jim Bong Sick proprietors of an even shadier L.A. Flesh Palace known as the Twin Dragon. So when the Smoke and Barrel's top stripper disappeared one night, Tony Luciano knew just where to look. Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world through the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road, but Kim Bong Sick had kidnapped my client Cherry Pops, the only human Tony Luciano had ever warmed up to, and Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right, any one of you that speaks a word of English, tell them loopy twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me Cherry Pops, or this Desert Eagle's gonna say it louder. One, two... <clears throat> Diplomacy and tolerance weren't numbered in Tony's talents. He liked to shoot first and ask... Well, he just liked to shoot. He wasn't much for questions. Again with the hair, damn it. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction, and all Tony had were a lot of bullets. Take his life! <sighs> Load. I'll give you a turn on. Ah. 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 It's like they built mooks into the walls.
Come on. Oh, I'm out of here. The Twin Dragon's main attraction was their famous mermaid show, but their star girl, Princess Neptuna, had run off with what she hoped was a prince. Anyway, the club was open only to its armed employees while they auditioned a new girl, and the auditions were tanking. Whoa, whoa. Kind of freaky joint is this? The all your gun permits!